All right, so I've had a bit of a disaster so far. Hey guys, my name's Alex, and today I'm doing part two of my study in pencil skirts. I'm using Simplicity 4038, as always. I've made three of these skirts so far, and they've all turned out well, so I'm happy with the pattern. I have to make adjustments to this pattern because there's a bit of embellishment in the back that I'm not a fan of. So I'm using this pattern to just make a basic pencil skirt and that's the goal of this video is to keep making basic pencil skirts because um, I love pencil skirts. Uh, <laughs> so I have two more remnant fabrics here. I have this one right here as well as this one. Now since I used the $2 cut last time and it's $2, $4, $6, so uh, I'll use the $4 one today just to keep it even. Oh, a cat one thing. So this is the fabric that I'll use. It's a wool and I mean there's not a lot of fabric to any of these but... Cat being silly. There is enough to make a pencil skirt. There's four panels to this one. I think there'll need to be a seam in the center front of the skirt, but that's easy to do. I just need to add a little bit extra to the center fit of the fabric. And these are all my linings that I have. I'm not going out to the store to buy any other different linings, so I'm just gonna use what I have here. I'm thinking between one of these, I'm not sure if I have enough of this, but I'll see if I do and if I actually have enough I'll use the darker one but if I don't I'll just use the silver one I'll be fine I need to actually see if I can go and um, get some more linings next week but for now it's fine so I have five goals for this skirt I want to do better hemming on the lining now I'm particular with my hemlines and I actually want to make this skirt a little bit longer than I did my last one because even though I like short pencil skirts I think that it would be just a bit more professional just to be maybe two inches longer so I think that's gonna be my goal. I need to watch out for my facing pieces that I have because for my last skirt I actually put the back side on the front and the front side on the back so I want to actually mark out maybe put some pins in my fabric to actually show this is the front piece of the facing this is the back piece of the facing and make sure I make that clear to myself. For this skirt, actually, I want to do more hand sewing on the zipper because I really like the finish that it gave my last skirt that I made. I'm going to machine, baste, and stitch the zipper on, and then I'm going to go back in and hand stitch the zipper even closer than what the machine stitch could do. This will be a little bit more time consuming, but it won't take as much time as, like, sewing an entire hem. Also when I'm making my darts for this skirt, I'm actually going to try not to backstitch at the tip of the dart. So I'll just try to make it a little bit nicer each time that I do these skirts. Again, I only have myself to critique, so I'm just using what I think I could do better to make the next skirt and try something different. I really enjoy watching and filming these sewing videos, so I hope you guys actually like watching them. But anyway. Let's go on to the sewing. First things first, I cut out my fabric. I put on the front panel an extra 3 8 seam allowance so that I could do a seam in the front. And then I put chalk lines for where my darts were. All right, so I've had a bit of a disaster so far. I was putting together my lining pieces and I actually didn't have enough fabric for the front of the lining. So I tried piecing it together, but I just don't like how it looks. So I conceded, and I actually went to Joann's to get some more lining fabric. Yeah, here we go. So this is my fabric, and this is lining that I picked out. It's just a nice blue. I thought those would look pretty. I mean, this is a green technically, but it does have some blue in it, so I think it will match well. And I, I hope the audio is recording. But yeah, that's what I have for my lining. And then I also picked out another lining piece since I didn't really have any linings left. I used it all up. Um, so I picked out this gold for the next pencil skirt for part three. The first step that I'm going to be doing is the darts and then seaming this together. I added a little bit of extra fabric here when I was cutting out the fabric so that there would be seam allowance there. But for the darts, I'm going to reverse stitch at the very top of the dart, go down, and then no reverse stitch at the bottom of the dart. I'm going to leave tails of thread sitting there so that I can just tie them together and hopefully that will make a more professional looking dart. 
it's just it's what I've heard people say online so I'm hoping that this is a good tip and I'll actually get me a good looking dart I'm not sure how much of a difference it'll make but since people enjoy doing this procedure I'll go for it as well they know more about sewing than I do so I'm just guessing everything here <laughs> is anyone else like that you just kind of Try your best and go for it. That's usually what I do. I also cut this piece on the selvage, these back vents, so it's already finished. I'm not gonna hem it. I like what the selvage looks like, so okay. That's it for the update. So then I went and I cut out my lining fabric and I marked all my darts and I finished sewing the rest of the darts on the back side of the fabric. So then I stitched the back panels together and then once I got to the vent, I lengthened the stitch and I continued stitching for convenience. Then I stitched together the front panels of the fabric, but I didn't really look to see where my lines were that much, so that didn't really turn out for the best. So I stitched together the side of my facing that would not have the zipper, and I remembered which side was my front, so I got it right. Yay. So then I stitched together the sides of the skirt, leaving room for the zipper on one side, and at this step I started paying more attention to where my pattern matching was, so that I get all the stripes so that they were lined up. And by doing so, I actually noticed that my front panels actually weren't really the best. So I actually took my seam ripper and I ripped that out so that I could redo that. I stitched together the back vent together and then I went to the front side and I did the same so that it would stay flat on one side. So here's what the skirt looks so far. I really like how the darts turned out and I think the pattern matching looks a lot better on the front panel of the skirt. The darts look great on the inside and I think this looks even better than my last skirt that I did. So even when looking at the back side of the skirt, the vent looks great and the selvage isn't even noticeable even though that's where it is. Okay, so guess who forgot to get Microtex needles while getting polyester lining from the store? Oh well. I'm using a brand new universal needle, but even so, my seams are just a bit scrunchy. I'll just have to make do. It looks okay. I mean, at least it's sewing, so I'm happy about that. I'm doing the same steps that I did for my skirt. I cut out the vent when I cut out the lining so I won't have to deal with that in the back and I'm simply finishing the edges on the lining and making sure that everything is hidden and there's no unfinished seams on the lining. So after I stitch all the seams of my skirt in my lining, I like to run it through the overlocker so that all the edges are finished. And then for the bottom of the skirt, I actually fold over that overlock stitch so that you aren't able to see it from the outside. I find that it gives it a really professional look. Even with it overlocked, once you stitch it down and iron it, it gives it a very crisp finish. So then I went and I machine stitched my zipper tape for my skirt. I didn't focus on a perfect finish because I'm going to hand stitch this. And then I went back and I stitched it again so that the zipper tape would stay to the seam allowance and not like fly up and flop everywhere. I did the same to the other side and I made sure to get close to the zipper tape and then to the other side of the seam allowance so that it would all stay flat on the skirt. And as you can see from what the zipper looks like now, it's not at all good, which is okay because that was just the basting. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to hand stitch the zipper tape as close as I can to the teeth. So in order to hand stitch the zipper down, 
and going from the inside of the seam allowance and then I'm back stitching as close as I can to the zipper teeth. So I find this gives a more couture finish to the zipper tape even though it's not the proper method I'm still learning and I'm really just making my own method because I find that works best for me. So then I attached my facing to my waistband, thankfully with no problems at this step. However, then I went and I understitched my waistband and <laughs> I ran out of thread in my bobbin, so I had to respin that. I folded over the serge bits of my facing and then stitched a line across it so that it would look good from the inside of my skirt. Since I understitched the waistband when I went over to my serger to attach the lining because that's what I like to do at this step, I found it a bit tricky to get it into the serger. I mean, I had room, but I would feel a lot safer with just a little bit more room in my serger. Also, one of my serger threads snapped, so I had to rethread that late at night fun but i got everything stitched together so silver linings and what a wonderful start to my morning i had with the beginning of coco vid i'm so happy that so many amazing creators were able to come together and make this wonderful and well thought out event for the community i might have been a little bit distracted while whip stitching my lining to my zipper tape but i don't think it showed I whip stitched the facing to the lining, making sure that it won't go to the front of the skirt. Lastly, I ironed the hem where I wanted it to sit and I whip stitched everything down. Any ideas? So this is skirt 2 complete of the series, although I should say this is the fourth skirt that I've made of this pattern. However, with each skirt that I'm making, I am improving. I really like how this skirt turned out in particular because I'm really proud of myself for trying as best as I could to pattern match it. I also really like how the zipper turned out. I think this is my best invisible zipper that I've ever sewn, so I'm really proud of myself for that. I don't actually know what I need to focus on to improve anything for my next skirt. For my own standards, I'm pretty sure this skirt is close to perfect. So for my next skirt, I'm actually going to try to do the same thing because I really like how this one turned out. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and if you've made it this far, maybe stick around for the rest of my sewing journey, but that's up to you. Bye.